Atlanta has a special place for me. It is where I met my husband of 30 years. It's where I came to college and where my children were born. It's where I call my family and the new friends that are here. And it's just a strong sense of wholesomeness every time I return to Atlanta. And I brag about it everywhere I go. Roz is very family oriented, just in terms of her personal family. Roz and her husband, John, they are what we call a spell house family. They met Roz at Spellman, John at Morehouse, and those are known as Spellhouse couples. They went on to marry. They now have two beautiful children. She does what she needs to do for her family, and I have so much respect for that. The question is, can you have it all? Can you have a good family, a good job, serve your community, be involved with your school? And she has somehow been able to juggle the aspects of her life. Roz is one of those business leaders who understands the responsibilities of business leadership to also be making the community a lot stronger place. And so the impact that she's had in places like Westminster, but in other educational settings like Spelman, where she's just provided enormous service to her alma mater on that board, I think really speaks to Roz's commitment to thinking about her leadership in the corporate setting being paralleled by her leadership in the community. And so there are a lot of students who really have a much stronger experience and a stronger education that's it's very forward-looking because of Roz's involvement in the very important institutions in the city of Atlanta. My life at Spelman was amazing. It really shaped who I am to this day. It was an environment that was very nurturing. You couldn't fail, and I knew that. I knew I had a support system that I likely wouldn't get anywhere else. Roz is one of the most successful businesswomen in the world, and whether you see her in a business setting or I interact with her as my girlfriend, she is exactly the same, and I have so much respect for that. But it's the essence of who she is. The best days of any of our lives should be when we're giving back, when we're helping somebody that needs what we have or we can share. Neither of my parents attended college, but we never knew it as children. You know, at one time there were four of us in college all at the same time. When I think about my mother and how hard she worked with so little, and I think about what she did to make us successful, I owe a lot to her. Her parents were her inspiration. They worked so hard and really instilled in them a keen desire to succeed. It has served her really well in her career. And we have not yet seen the top of Roz's career, I'm convinced. If you want your daughter and your son to make you proud, let them be like Roz. Be so nice and so wonderful that nobody ever gets tired of you. The world desperately needs more people like Roz Brewer.